methods of recruitment and selection, and the benefits of each method will be explained. This will help you to answer 2.1 and 2.2 on the 3RTO assignment. Before we start looking at the recruitment and selection methods in more detail, let's consider what recruitment and selection are. Recruitment entails all of the processes involved with attracting applicants. You start to select from them when you do anything with those applications. There are many methods of recruiting or attracting applicants. Three are outlined here. Succession or talent planning. This is the group of activities that ensures an organisation has sufficient numbers of people with ability, knowledge, personal attributes and experience necessary to step into roles at the next level when they become vacant. The benefits of this include employee development, which will help to retain those employees. It will provide people who are a good fit with the company's values and overall it will reduce recruitment costs. The restrictions with this method are that it could reduce the diversity within the workforce, which then means that there will be fewer new ideas being introduced. Another method is the employee referral schemes. These are sometimes known as refer a friend schemes. This is where existing employees are offered some form of incentive to recommend their family and friends. The benefits of this method are that it reduces recruitment costs, people are likely to introduce people who they think will fit and have a prior understanding of the organisation, and these methods are growing in popularity. The restrictions are that this too can result in reduced diversity within the workforce, and this needs managing carefully to prevent line managers from directly managing a family member. Another method of attracting applicants is job adverts and some methods that you can use are placing a job advert with a recruitment agency or you could use place job adverts on social networks such as LinkedIn. You could use the job centre or perhaps place an advert in a professional publication such as People Management magazine. The benefits of this are it can reduce time spent on recruitment if you use a recruitment agency. You can target specific group of people if you place your advert either with a recruitment agency or in a professional publication. It attracts new blood into the company which introduces fresh ideas. The restrictions of this method however are that it can be costly. Assessment or selection methods include interviews, psychometric tests and assessment centres. Interviewing remains the most popular method of assessment. The benefits for the individual include they are able to ask questions about the job and the company which can help them decide if they want the job. They can find out about terms and conditions and ask about the benefits associated with the role. The benefits for the organisation include they are able to describe the job and explain the responsibilities. They are also able to assess candidates' ability for the role. Another benefit is that they can discuss details with the candidates, including the terms and conditions, and they are able to portray a positive impression of the organisation. Psychometric tests are used to determine the extent to which the natural personality of the candidate matches the disposition deemed to be the most appropriate for the role. Benefits for the individual include that they can be completed at home as these tests are often administered online. The benefits for the organisation are that the tests are easy to measure and the results are easy to compare and this can lead to reduced recruitment costs. The tests are also likely to introduce people that are likely to fit with the organisation by measuring individual differences in personality and ability and making future predictions about behaviour. Assessment centres are designed to bring together a group of applicants and assess each individual using a range of different selection methods. 
The benefits for the individual are that the tasks will be varied and realistic, so can provide opportunities to demonstrate performance across different aspects of the job. The benefits for the organisation are that as a group of candidates completing a different number of tasks are assessed at the same time, this can help to reduce time and also cost. The tasks will be varied and realistic and this can provide an opportunity to check performance across different aspects of the job. Employment checks usually take place once the recruitment and selection methods have been completed. This could include checking candidates' qualifications or taking up references. References allow you to obtain information about the candidates and can be actioned on the phone, they can be written or emailed. Case law leads to a cautious approach when giving references and they should be fair and accurate and not misleading. Look out for the next video for information on induction which will help you to answer 4.1 and 4.2 on the assignment 3 RTO.